वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर हियर टू लर्न अबाउट इनवर्स पोलर प्लॉट्स तो इनवर्स इनवर्स पोलर प्लॉट्स आर यूज्ड इन द सिचुएशन व्हेन वी फाइंड दैट द एनालिसिस ऑफ इनवर्स ऑफ अ फंक्शन विल बी मोर यूजफुल देन द गिवन फंक्शन सो वी विल फाइंड मोर एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ इनवर्स पोलर प्लॉट्स व्हेन वी शैल स्टडी नाइक्विस्ट स्टेबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया there are situations when there is ambiguity about the polar plot and the inverse polar plot because the inverse polar plot is not the symmetrical or transpose of the plot which is drawn for a function or transfer function so when we are asked to draw an inverse polar plot we should should basically find the inverse of the function and find its plot or draw its plot so as usual the textbook which i am used to refer is the book written on control systems by professor m gopal that is the fourth edition you can refer to other books also as per your convenience but this is one of the easiest books i have ever learned then another book on swarm series is by professor sanjay mandal and another reference book on automatic control systems by said hasan said sir who is professor at integral university lucknow so the two functions we shall learn today are gshs equal to 1 by tau s plus 1 and the inverse of this function is tau s plus 1 so if i ask you to find the inverse polar plot of 1 by tau s plus 1 so you have to find out its inverse so that is tau s plus 1 and draw its polar plot let us start with the first loop transfer function that is 1 divided by tau s plus 1 so if we write it with s equal to j omega j at j omega h at j omega equal to 1 divided by tau j omega plus 1 so for this we have already seen that the polar plot is in the form of a semicircle as is well if you place this transfer function in the form of magnitude and phase so this is 1 by root tau omega whole square plus 1 and angle of so complex conjugate is minus j tau omega plus 1 so minus of tan inverse tau omega so with this if we place omega equal to 0 we will get the magnitude is 1 magnitude is 1 and angle is phase is 0 and if you place omega tends to infinity then you find magnitude is 0 so then this will enter the origin at an angle of minus 90 degree because here the value of omega is infinity so this is angle is minus 90 degree so naturally this this uh, polar plot we have already discussed but uh, just for recapitulation i am drawing it so we had seen that in between there is a frequency starting from omega equal to 0 to omega tends to infinity we have in between frequency omega equals to 1 by tau so this is the form of a semicircle don't forget to write the real part of g at j omega h at j omega and here it is imaginary part of g at j omega h at j omega so this is the polar plot for 1 by j tau omega plus 1 polar plot of 1 by tau s plus 1 Similarly, we can write 
the polar plot for the inverse transfer function so the inverse polar plot of 1 by tau s plus 1 so the inverse of this function is inverse of g at j omega h at j omega inverse is tau j omega plus 1 so again as we have studied in previous lectures that you know the real part of this transfer function is always constant with magnitude 1 so we start from omega equal to 0 when the imaginary part is 0 so magnitude is 1 and the phase is phase angle is 0 degree but if the frequency increases say omega equals to 1 by tau so magnitude becomes root 2 and phase becomes 45 degree so this is all in the first quadrant of the polar plot so when omega tends to infinity we can say that magnitude is infinitely large m tends to infinity and angle is almost 90 degree because the real part will be negligible in that case so let us plot the polar plot for this as we have already done it this is just a recapitulation you have the real part of g at j omega h at j omega and this is the imaginary part of g at j omega h at j omega so we should be getting it the constant real part this is one and imaginary part is a straight line with this arrow and start from omega equal to zero up to omega tends to infinity in between there is at 45 degree we have omega equals to 1 by tau like this angle 45 degree and this magnitude is root 2 so here you can see that this is the inverse polar plot of inverse you can write inverse polar plot of 1 by tau s plus 1 so basically this is the polar plot of tau s plus 1 which is equal to j omega so you can compare that these both polar plots are different very much different from each other so let us compare the polar plots you see the polar plot of 1 by tau s plus 1 like this and the polar plot of inverse of 1 by tau s plus 1 is this one so this is how we can draw the inverse polar plot i always keep in mind that if you have to find the inverse polar plot you have to find the inverse of the transfer function then you have to draw the inverse polar plot of the same so this much is for today friends and the next lecture will be on Bode plots we will be starting Bode plots so solve few problems from the textbook or reference book based upon the polar plots and inverse polar plots and feel free to ask questions or queries so as already advised you kindly subscribe the channel to keep in touch so that I need not send to my students the uh, link of the uh, video every day rather than you subscribe it and get notification so to get notification you uh, through the bell icon you can set the notification and stay in touch send me queries at control systems faq at the gmail.com so thank you for your patient listening